Hi, sir. Let's get started, people. The Coalition's warp capability is giving them a strong advantage, as illustrated by their attacks along our frontier. We have to neutralize this quickly so we can gain the upper hand when our own warp technology becomes operational. Reconnaissance indicates that this jump gate activity is being coordinated from the Latov Asteroid Observation Base, and our mission's primary objective is its destruction. Alpha and Gamma Wings will move out three nav points and locate the base using scanners. Once found, Alpha Wing will have three minutes to destroy the communication tower. After that, the jamming from your support craft will become ineffective. Once you have tagged the comms tower, take out the fighters. When the fighters are gone, destroy the base's defense turrets. Gamma Wing will then move in to take out the base's satellite dish. Your final objective will be to locate and destroy a vent hatch on the surface of the asteroid. Then launch one of your jackhammer missiles into the vent. This should trigger off a chain reaction in the asteroid's internal bunker. With all mission objectives achieved, make your way back to the Reliant via Fort Sherman. We need this one, pilots. Good luck. Screamer, selected. Jackhammer, selected. Screamer, selected. Okay, pop. 
pilots, prepare to move out. Jump coordinates initiated. Okay, 45th. Engage the fighters first, then the freighters. Make sure no one escapes, or we'll be flying into a world of pain.
Someone say our name? Okay, pilots, prepare to move out. We're ready to jump out. Okay, 45th. Engage the fighters first, then the freighters. Make sure no one escapes, or we'll be flying into a world of pain.
prepare to launch. Jet, jet camera, jet screamer, jet screamer, selected. Squeak, 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 screamer, gamma selected. wing are priming for launch. Screamer, scream, 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 jet, scream, screamer, jet, 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 screamer, selected. The dreaded G-Man. Someone say your name? Okay, pilots, prepare to move out. Jump coordinates initiated.
Banner selected. Come on, finish off the convoy!
We need to rearm. I've set coordinates for a Navy rendezvous. Prepare to jump out. Jump system online.
Okay, pilots, prepare to move out. Jump coordinates initiated.
Jackhammer selected. Okay, 45th, 
Engage the fighters first, then the freighters. Make sure no one escapes, or we'll be flying into a world of pain.
Screamer. Prepare to launch. Forty fifth, Gamma Wing are priming for launch.
45th. Engage the fighters first, then the freighters. Make sure no one escapes, or we'll be flying into a world of pain. Engage the fighters first, then the freighters. 
traitors. Make sure no one escapes, or we'll be flying into a world of pain. Shot! 
three, this is Alpha Leader. Rendezvous point is clear. Roger that. We're coming in. Okay, 45th. Ready when you are. Screamer selected. This is Nanny 3. I'm heading out. Good luck. Thanks, Nanny 3. Gamma, 45th, let's move out. Jump coordinates initiated.
Copy, Alpha. We're moving out. Copy, Alpha. Roger, Gamma. Okay, 45th. Take out the vent hatch and get a jackhammer down there. The hatch is blown. Line up with the targeting rings and put a jackhammer down its throat. Okay, settle down and listen up. Intelligence have received reports that the Coalition have almost finished the construction of a new supercarrier, the Tsar, which looking at its stats will outclass any ship in the Alliance fleet. To make matters worse, we've also been informed that the Coalition now have a new advanced warp gate system online. If used in conjunction with the Tsar, the consequences for the Alliance could be dire. Using captured Coalition data, our tech division has produced a prototype warp projector capable of creating a temporary wormhole big enough for a single fighter to slip through, ideal for covert ops. The warp projector requires 15 seconds to charge before firing. They're still a little unstable, so use them only as directed. Upon reaching the shipyard facility, your first objective will be to punch a hole through the orbiting satellite defense turrets. Next objective will be to engage any Coalition fighters in the vicinity. With the fighter defense neutralized, move on to the facility's defense turrets. Once the fighters and defense turrets are out of the way, Gamma Wing will torp the Tsar's main hull, while the target designation ship locates the carrier's twin power cores. With the power core pinpointed, launch your jackhammer missiles and evacuate the area. As you've probably assumed by now, this mission is of vital importance. So fortunately, you won't be going in alone. Coming along for the ride will be a contingent from the vampires. Due to his experience, squadron leader Klaus Steiner will be in overall command of the mission. So whatever he says goes. Everyone clear?
Good luck, pilots. Select Screamer. Select we just received word that they've been held up. We can't afford to wait for them. We have to strike now. Copy that, Commander. This is Gamma 1. We're going to hold here until you get a fix on the primary shields. Copy, Gamma Leader. Okay, 45th. Get ready to warp out. Warp coordinates initiated. Ready and online.
Afterburners, low. Afterburners, low. Afterburners, low. Commander Enriquez, what's the ETA on the vampires? We just received word that they've been held up. We can't afford to wait for them. We have to strike now. Copy that, Commander. Okay, 45th. Get ready to warp out. Warp projector calibrated. Ready to move out. Satellites. Alpha 5, get a fix on the Tsar's primary shields.
Juggernaut down. We've got exactly 60 seconds to take out the core before the ray shields come online. Jet tower selected. Target is in your heads up. Line up and take out the hatch. Then load up your jackhammers. Hatch is down. Jet now jackhammer the cover. Selected. Permission to land. We're rolling out the carpet. Nice work out there, pilot. Men and women of the Alliance, welcome. It seems congratulations are in order. With the exception of a few minor setbacks, Operation Shield has been a major success. Over 45% of the Alliance fleet reached the safety of Triton. No small feat considering the setback suffered at the outbreak of the conflict. Since then, we've taken the fight to the enemy. Although the Coalition has us outnumbered and outgunned, Alliance forces have utilized hit-and-run tactics. With losses mounting and communication and supply lines under constant attack, the Coalition fleet has been forced to withdraw back to Titan. On a final note, congratulations to the 45th Volunteers, now nicknamed the Flying Tigers after the famous World War II fighter squadron. This newly formed squadron seems hell-bent on winning the war all by themselves. Their kill per pilot ratio is second only to the vampires. Keep up the good work, men and women of the Alliance. Reports have confirmed that the vampires, assisted by the Tigers, located and destroyed the CS Tsar, a Coalition Class I supercarrier. Just three weeks from completion, the Tsar was to be the new flagship of the Coalition Forward Fleet. It looks like they'll need a replacement. Reports have confirmed that the CS Krasnaya, a Class II carrier, was destroyed in a joint operation by the vampires flying out of the ANS Bremen. Again, the Tigers were on hand to support the vampires. These two combat squadrons sure seem to be hitting it off in style. Great work, guys. At ease. I'm delighted to see you here, pilot. Your recent actions have been brought to my attention by Commander Enriquez. I am pleased to inform you that Command has seen fit to present you with this award in recognition of your achievements. For valor in the line of fire, I present you with the Black Eagle. Congratulations, pilot.
Is it? It looks like we've been given a new name. Congratulations, Tigers. It seems that the recruits I was given a few months ago have earned their wings. Keep up the good work. Now, back to business. Tech Division has informed us that they are about to bring our own warp gate system online. However, a lack of fuel cells is holding this up. Fortunately, Intelligence has identified a coalition mining base that is producing fuel cells for their warp gates. Our mission is to liberate some of this fuel and destroy the facility. Tigers, you will be providing fighter support for a Japanese squadron called the Ronin, flying off the ANS Yamato. By all accounts, they are a top-class outfit. Also along for the ride will be a detachment of Rippers, their task will be to grab the fuel cells. On takeoff, link up with the Rippers and jump ahead to Nav 1, where you will rendezvous with the Ronin. You must then hold position with the Rippers while the Ronin jump forward on a decoy attack to draw away the base's fighter unit. On their signal, you and the Rippers should move in. Your first objective will be to take out the base's defense turrets. Your second objective is to blow the service door to the base's depot hangar. You will then escort the Rippers to the interior of the base. Once inside, the Rippers will locate and secure the fuel cell containers and make a fast exit. You will then tag the remaining fuel cells using your lasers. This will start a fusion buildup, which in turn will create a chain reaction throughout the depot. I suggest that you get well out of range when it blows. Finally, escort the Rippers to Fort Sherman and then return to the Reliant. We have our new name. Now live up to it. Good luck, Tigers! Doors are opening. 
Fighters launching. Rippers, drop back. Tigers, engage your will. Surface now. 
Tigers, hold your current position until the rippers are clear. sales then get the hell out once those things go critical this place is gonna blow
Tigers. You're cleared back to the Reliant. Thanks, Tigers. Nice working with you, Tigers. Pleasure was all ours, Ronin. Tigers, let's move out. We're ready to jump out. Permission to land. You're clear all the way in. Great work out there, pilot. <laughs>